Hi, this is Cheryl for Cut at Home. Today I have a really fun card for that pirate in your life. Um, this is made using the Do Craft dies or X Cut dies, build a scene, nautical edition. So there's lots of different pieces here that you can cut. Two different wave types, the real swirly waves up here, which are meant for a longer card, probably a 12 by 12 page or a five by seven turned sideways or just the traditional scallop turn upside down. Here's their suggestions on some of the things that you can do with their dies. We've got a whale with the water spouts coming out, the ship sailing on the curly waves, um, a squid with ahoy there, or octopus, and a desert island. How peaceful is that? Again, it's up to your imagination. All of the different things you can do with the many, many pieces in this set. Let me show you a couple of things about my card. I started out with four different colors of blue, actually five. My blue background piece representing the sky is the lightest of all. And then I have four other blues for my waves, starting out very deep at the bottom and working up as I go. When I get to this sort of medium blue at the top of the Ahoy there, I knew my ship wanted to rest in those waves. And so in order to give it some freedom to move, because guess what? I've got a wobble spring under here. Um, I needed to put half a pop dot under each side. Again, just to pop that slightly and allow the ship to move. Um, I assume this is gonna be for a younger person. So I wanted it to have some freedom of motion to be a little bit more entertaining than your basic flat card. And so I added the wobble spring. Unfortunately, I don't have one to show you, but I'm gonna sort of bend this back and show you the wobble spring back here. It's actually a fairly large piece. Um, so you need to have a sizable item that you want to wobble on your card. Um, when you're using wobble spring, you have to build the foundation piece separately from the card so that it will actually have the motion and rock in the waves here in this case, the boat. And so this is the piece that I started with, the basic ship design. I added some sails to that as appropriate. Um, here it's important to keep each of these masts separate so that the sails can ride on them separate. Again, it gives sort of maximum dimension and the feeling of movement within the boat. When you get this one done with the two sails, there's kind of a gap in between um, and it's not strong enough to hold the wobble spring, but this is where I wanted it seated is right here about in the middle of the design. And so I added there just a piece of the same color cardstock as the sails are made of. You can see it sort of peeking out right here between these two sails. Um, you can see the mast sticking out behind and you can see it a little bit on the back. It's just essentially cut the same size as my wobble spring in order to give it support and to support the piece as it goes through. But as you can see, it pretty freely rocks and it just adds a lot of fun dimension. It also gets a little stuck on those waves there. Um, again, all those jagged edges can grab and hold on to the card a little bit. But for the most part, it does what it's supposed to and makes for kind of an entertaining piece. So lots and lots of fun. I highly recommend the Ducrafts nautical build the scene dies. Again, lots of versatility in the set um, to make much more than a card like this, much more than the pirate ship. Thanks for watching. Bye.